Welcome to 20 Days on Following Jesus. Of course, we know that following Jesus is not something you accomplish in 20 days. It's a lifelong pursuit. But over the, seri- the course of these devotional moments together in the next 20 days, we want and hope and pray that you will know God's love for you through Christ more deeply, that you'll experience his grace more fully, and that you'll learn to live daily and walk with him daily in your life more completely. That's at the heart of what it means to follow Jesus. Because following Jesus is just another way of talking about what it means to be a Christian. We're Christ followers, those who follow him and live in his way, meaning learning to see the world the way he saw it, to see the people the way he saw them, to treat them the way he treated them, to pray the way he prayed, to rely on scripture the way he did, and so on. But becoming a Christian doesn't mean you just have to do a bunch of things. Fundamentally, it's much more about responding to the call or invitation of Jesus in what we call the gospel. That is the good news of Jesus Christ. Let me just take a moment and say, for those of you watching this, who maybe you've never really understood what the gospel is, what is the good news of Jesus, and you've never responded to his grace. Maybe you've tried the religious thing and you've gone to church a bit and you tried to follow the rules, but you don't know what it means to respond to the grace of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you, you can click the link we provided for you to take you to another video where what the gospel is, is laid out clearly and simply. And what it means to become a Christian is laid out clearly and simply for you. Because for those of us who want to follow him, we're responding to his invitation to live his way. And that is inevitably going to mean doing certain things, of course. There are practices and disciplines that have always been part of the way of Jesus, and that's you'll be learning about those together over the next 20 days. But if we make the life of Jesus a bunch of things we have to do, we run the risk of making it a burden. And that's missing the point entirely. It reminds me of something Jesus said in the Gospels in Matthew chapter 11, in verses 28 and 29. He says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden. That describe any of you feeling weighed down or burdened? He says, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The point Jesus is making is that the gospel is not meant to place more burdens on us. You already have enough burdens. So do I. The gospel removes our burdens of sin and guilt and shame and obligation and replaces it with grace. That's the invitation of the life of Jesus and what it means to follow him. Even though he does invite us to do certain things and to practice certain things, But these practices are not to be burdens. They're to be help equip us to experience his grace on a daily basis. Because to follow him really is at the heart of what it means in John 15 when Jesus says we are to abide. When he's describing the life that he invites us to, he uses a metaphor of vine and branches. And the branch's only job is to stay connected to or abide in the vine because the vine is the source of life. So really at the heart of following Jesus, all the things you're going to learn to do and to dive deeply into are are means of helping you abide. Here's what he says in John 15, verse 9. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. So abide in my love. The word abide is the Greek word meno. It means literally to stay or remain. Because I don't know about you, but like little kids, uh, we have a tendency to wander off to drift away, to get disconnected from the love of God. Once again, these 20 days are about the practices that help us stay, remain, connected to and abiding in the love of Christ. And so as we start, I wanna give you a challenge. Sometime this week, take out your Bible, open to John chapter 15 and read slowly verses one through 17. Notice how many times the word abide is mentioned. And then if you've got your journal or a piece of paper, write down the words and phrases you see that are connected to what it means to abide. Notice what Jesus is saying to us as we launch into this 20 days together, because we want to bless you, not burden you. We want to grow together in what it means to remain and stay connected to the love of God in Christ for each of us. That's at the heart of following Jesus. We're excited to join you on the journey.